excited to introduce you to this amazing youth of Goa. Her name is Mansi, and she's from Vasco. And she got in touch with me through WhatsApp. And guess what? She's gifted me a face mask. And do you know this material? Can you tell me which material is this? It's a kunbi material. And she's a youngster who's promoting this. And it's so amazing to see you taking up this initiative. This is one part of it where she's promoting this art. Secondly is Mansi is also getting, I mean, she's going into villages and she's finding out the traditional cooking as well as the life that the locals are living, the tribals are living. And she is making a point that she shares this knowledge to everyone. So she takes small groups around with her. It can be a family, it can be tourists. And this is something that she started during the pandemic time because she is passionate about Travel, meeting people, travel, travel, meeting people. So, Mansi, welcome. And uh, Goa, this is our beautiful youngster, Mansi. We didn't meet earlier <laughs> and we were strangers, but she decided to come and give me this gift. So I said, I have to document it and I have to share it to all you guys uh, who are watching and we share it also because she's yeah. got an amazing uh, website called the folkliving.in where, uh, you know, all her work, that she does is being put forward. So Mansi, please tell everyone, what do you do? And in this amazing period of lockdown and pandemic, you've totally opened up into a new venture yes. and your love into going into villages and finding about traditional art and dance. Please tell everyone, how, how's the feeling been? So um, I started folk living two years back in 2019 and uh, just started because I just love to travel. I love the subject anthropology and to discover a lot of hidden places yes. everywhere in Goa and I think we are blessed with a lot of culture, rich culture My God, and we don't Goa, know half about seriously. it, we've still not travelled half of Goa and um, what I'm looking forward to is responsible tourism in Goa we want people who appreciate the right art and the right kind of people um, we have beautiful uh, dances, we have beautiful say foods that we've still not eaten, we've not I'm tasted, like wood you. fried bibinka. Wood fried bibinka. Yes, wood fi fried bibinka. We have khatkate that is cooked on firewood. Like a lot of things that uh, I think we are yet to explore in Goa. And wow. uh, through folk living, we are just like I'm promoting uh, responsible, sustainable tourism. And uh, yeah, we're just looking for the right kind of people, <laughs> friends who can support in whatever way they can uh, to push this or do anything for Goa. like. Like genuinely from the heart. Okay, and this is not her line of work. She comes from the production film side. So please tell us something about that and also tell us how you decided to get into this. Like basically your main um, trigger into getting into the... So um, I'm, I'm a film student. I passed out from MIT School of Film and Television. After that, my career main, main line is uh, film production and editing. Uh, but uh, while studying films, I would go to a lot of like because I specialize in documentaries. Yes. I met a lot of people. I went to a lot of houses in Maharashtra and Pune. Um, there I started documenting people. I met a lot of locals there. The same thing when I came back to Goa, I started doing. And then I explored this line where I have a little liking for culture to explore people, meet people. Um, and folk living started with that. So with that, I also document say folk stories. Nice. Uh, Songs, dances, instruments like gumot. Wow. Which is very like. And you're looking for someone who makes the gumot, right? Yes. <laughs> so if you know anyone who's making the gumot, she's looking out for someone. I, I know what Feli is there. Yeah, I want to document the whole process. Oh, like wow. How it starts. So I can make a film or something. Like a short video. On so what she does is uh, she takes a group of friends. Like basically she promotes where... There's no alcohol and there's no packet food that is taken to villages it's because so that raw. there's no garbage. So it's very raw kind of an experience. Even their flooring is of cow dung. Shena che flooring asa. So it is amazing that, you know, sometimes the tourists go who have never experienced something like that. And they sometimes, as you said, they want to sleep there for they two hours sleep, like, and chill out have, longer. Yeah, like a siesta we have in the evening. So you want to eat, eat food and then they want to lie down. We Amazing. do that, we let them do that. Amazing. And it's so, so nice yeah. to see our youngsters, our very own Goan youth, 
especially our daughter of Goa, along with her friend who has started the small thing. They take small groups. They don't take big groups so that, you know, it's not too much onto a family. So they take small groups. They go exploring into the villages. So all our city people, like, you know, I have been brought up in the city. And now, actually, during the pandemic, I started going into farming, into the fields and, you know, going with nature, getting into the dirt with it. So sometimes this pandemic has opened up a lot of our eyes. Yes. And also yes. people who are watching, if you all want to have this experience, I will have Mansi's uh, website. It's already there uh, on the, you know, post. Uh, I'll also put up her contact details. So if you all want your friends to make small groups and have an experience of going into extreme villages, normally, uh, which areas do you all normally take your uh, people for this experience? Uh, personally, I've explored Kepe, Kankon, these two. Uh, so places. Kepe and Kankon, I mean, I being now from the north side, it will be a great experience, I think. So even I've been traveling to Kankon, I've been right. traveling to Kepe. Sange, so you know where you have like an experience uh, of its yeah. own like so guys this is Mansi you need to contact her and uh, to have this amazing experience you need to understand her more and see this man this is amazing and she has got in touch with the home science right yeah, home science college. students yeah. and this is one part of it where she's promoting the fabric that is the Kunbi fabric and she's been working with the Kunbi and the Gouda uh, uh, yeah, people as well as with the tribals uh, of different cultures yeah. and different folk dances. So I think so, Mansi being I being a dancer. Yeah, I you think so. You should yourself. invite me one day. I must take you. <laughs> See, we, so we're gonna yeah. Let's just go to a village like, and experience, experience the whole yeah, thing, right? Because it's more more less about talking, more about feeling. Like, yeah, being in, there. In, even my granny, my mom's mom's place. Initially, when we were growing up, it was yeah. of cow dung. You know, the the uh, kitchen and everything, and it used to be so cool. And now it's all replaced no, it's with changed. tiles and, you know, because it's more convenient, no insects and, yeah. you know, we want to see where, what is crawling through. So, you know, things, we've gone from, you know, uh, being strong to weak. Uh, everyone gets scared even of ants. The kids get scared of ants, get scared of like small insects, cockroaches. I know a friend of mine who gets scared of a butterfly. <laughs> A butterfly. You must come and see the butterflies in the village. And I can imagine big, they must be really big, big and, ones, and big, colorful huge, ones, yeah. colorful. We found a lot. So I am definitely going for an experience. And yes. the, I think so. Should we document that one? Yes, we should make a nice video. Yeah, so I think so that whole experience we will document it and it will come out. And to all our going cars and to the youth. Ah, very important, Mansi. You being a youth, what message do you have for all the youth uh, in Goa? Of Goa. Um, I just say that. You know, this is the time we need to preserve or at least to learn about uh, our past. And uh, it's very important. We don't want to lose on that. And um, I think being Know here, about the past and support. Support the also. present, yes, actually. Yes, um, Support the people who are genuinely doing this for a cause or like just, you know. Um, I think Youth of Goa right now can at least study it yes. and uh, be a part of the whole thing. Uh, support each other Very to true. promote Goa and the real side of Goa. The real side of yes. Goa. So, uh, if you have friends who are coming down and want to have an experience and instead of taking them to the beach or taking them where the usual, uh, you know, tourist spots are, I think so they need to have an experience of an authentic village raw kind of a feel. Yes. So, she's the person to get in touch with. And uh, that's Mansi. And uh, I think so. Can you log on to Folk uh, yeah, Living? Yeah, the website. Yes. You can just log on to the website uh, folkliving.in. It's there on my post. So uh, please log in, uh, book a date where she can take you. This is what she loves doing right now, <laughs> apart from her usual work. So this will become a hobby kind of, or yeah, this is kind of like 50 50. 50 50 kind of. So. I think so it's a small amount that depending on which area that you need yes. to go to yes. so that you know it can provide some uh, amount for the family that you'll be going to because they'll be cooking the food for you yes. and they'll having hosting you. hosting you plus you'll get a chance to go and pluck some chilies sometimes or go, it, to their go to their fields have an experience so you leave at 10 in the morning and then you come back by 6 by 6 so I think so if anyone wants to celebrate their birthday this is the best way of celebrating their birthday also with a different new experience if you have friends coming down you can take them around if you as a group as youngsters who live in the city i think so you all should make it a point contribute something get in touch with mansi go down to the villages have this experience as a family also yeah. husband wife children grandparents we can make one kind of a group and still go especially we living in city people 
I mean, we living in city areas, we should uh, go down. And yeah. uh, as the youth is supporting the family in this area, so she's got few families that she con- contacts with, and I think so. She's also adopted, as she said, or oh, she's helping one amazing family there. Uh, you know, with all the funds that she's getting, so we we put off the fan. You know, we're sweating. Right sweating. Now. We are we are like shining. Oh yes, yeah, so that there's no extra. Uh, so Luz, if you're saying which uh, uh, picture, then you need to get in touch with her on uh, you know on her website. And if you need any more information, you can still message me down, and I can uh, put you on to Mansi. She's an amazing youngster. Strangers now who are going to be working together and to make more awareness and definitely if, if I know friends coming down from any other place I will ask them to have this experience and we as uh, uh, you know as Goans also if we missed out on certain experience we should get in touch with you to explore this experience. We have a lot of friends who do this but this is another in- initiative in South Goa. So South Goa is also very beautiful. It's It's got its own kind of a feel. It's mm-hmm. kind of a... Uh, into the forest, into like you know, you trek, you go to the villages. It's amazing. It so <laughs> let's not just go to waterfalls, but let's go and have a whole day's experience into someone's okay. home and support the family that really deserves and it. And carry so. your garbage bag. And carry <laughs> your garbage bag. So if you want to carry anything, make sure you have your own garbage bag and you carry Take it and it not back to your place. and not dump it. And uh, yeah. you know, let's not pollute Mother Nature as it is. So. Mansi, God bless you and thank you. Amazing for this mask. And she's made one for Jake also. Jake's already taken it and he's gone down to play. And it comes in a very beautiful pouch which is uh, the edge of the border. The, the, the border of the sari and the material. So she decided to use this into a pouch where you can put this in. Or you can hang this on your bag with a little bit of change kind of a thing. Yeah. Also like It's going to be very cute. So guys, this is what we have. And uh, please... Do support Mansi and support uh, Goans who come forward like this. And yes. God bless you, Mansi. I hope so this small sister. video yeah. can make a lot of awareness and I'll definitely share it to all the groups I have. God yes. bless you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> love you guys. And uh, yeah, any youth, if you'll have started something and you want to showcase it, please do get in touch with me. Yes. And uh, let's uh, help each other promote. promote uh, each other. Uh, you know, I'll put it also on my Insta post so that, you know, a lot of youth come to know. These are small things which... Can be fun way of you know it having fun. It is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. And yes. God bless you and take care. Have fun and have a nice evening, and have a good week ahead, right? Yes. <laughs> God bless. Thanks. Bye.